I once again welcome you all on the session on the herbal drug technology. In the today's session, we are going to discuss herbs for hair care. So let us see the various herbs which are being used for the hair care or in the preparation of the hair cosmetics. In the case of hair cosmetics, mainly we are using the herbs to strengthen the hair, to increase the or to promote the growth of hair or to prevent the hair fall or to prevent the thinning of the hair, isn't it? So let us see the various herbs which are being used for the hair care. So there are three things are there, three types of the herbal materials which are being used in the hair care. Very first one, the herbs which are going to act as herbal tonic. They are going to promote the growth of hair. They are going to prevent the hair fall. Also, they are going to prevent the formation of dandruff. Like Amla, Brahmi, Bringaraj, Neem, Jatamansi, Fenugreek, Shikekai, Ginkgo, Arnika, and the Senna. So these are the some of the herbs which are going to be used as the hair tonic in the hair cosmetic preparation. There are some of the volatile oils and the fixed oils which are also going to be used in the hair care products. The oils are the coconut oil, eucalyptus oil, rose oil, tulsi oil, lemon oil, rosemary oil, cedar wood oil, sandalwood oil, sage oil, jojoba oil, almond oil, arachis oil, sesame oil, olive oil, neem oil, and the castor oil. We are going to use the volatile oil as well as the fixed oil in the preparation of the herbal hair care products. The colorants which are being used from the natural sources to prepare the hair cosmetics are henna, madder, chamomile, walnut, bringraj, and the onion skin. Onion skin maybe give the yellow color. So let us see the one by one each herb and their details along with the uses which are being used to prepare the hair cosmetics. So very first one that is known as the soap nut or it is also known as the root. So it consists of pores of sapindus trifoliatus or sapindus mucorosi belongs to family sapindaceae. So there are two sources are there for the soap nut. So it consists of pores of the sapindus trifoliatus and sapindus mucorosi belongs to family sapindaceae. So this is a shrub with linear pores, the dried powder of pod, it is a brown in color and have the soap-like properties. Itself name indicates that it, it is said to be the soap nut. So it is having the soap-like properties. Mainly it comprises 10 to 11% of the saponins, then the mucilage, gram, proteins, then the saponins contains mainly the saponicide A, B, C, D, then dysgenin, ketogenin, chlorogenin, and the rusogenin. It is having the soap-like property. Mainly, it is used for the cleaning of the hair. So it is used as detergent, then hair cleanser to promote the hair growth, and it is going to act as an anti-dandruff agent. So this is about the soap nut. Let us see the next herb which is being used in the hair care preparation. That is the hibiscus. So the hibiscus consists of dried flowers and leaves of hibiscus rosa sinensis belongs to family Malvasi. So here we are using the flowers and the leaves for the hair care. Mainly it contains 
the various vitamins flavonoids anthocyanin quercetin mucilage and the albumin the percentage of mucilage in the hibiscus leaves it is little bit more we are using two types of the varieties of the hibiscus that is a red and white variety in the hair care preparation so it is going to be used as hair growth promoter then anti graying agent then it is going to be used as hair conditioner then hair rinser it is going to smooth the hair and as well as it is going to produce the shine to the hair so this is about the hibiscus let us see the third herb that is known as the tea so the tea consists of dried leaves of thea sensis or camellia sinensis belongs to family thiaceae so the leaves are collected dried and made into the form of tea dust so we are collecting the leaves we are going we have to suppose to dry it and convert it into the powder it contains mainly the polyphenols catechins epicatechins caffeine theophylin and the theobromine it is used as hair conditioner and the colorant mainly the tea leaves are used to color the hair so it is uh, going to act as the coloring agent for the hair furthermore it is going to smooth give the smoothness and shine to the hair so this is about the tea the fourth drug that is the amla so amla consists of dried and fresh fruits of phalanthus imblica belonging to family phalanthesi already we have discussed the details of amla in the skin care also so it is a small tree with a number of globular fruits which are yellowish green in color they have sour and astringent taste due to presence of vitamin c so it is rich with the vitamin c and the other constituent which includes the tannins minerals such as iron calcium phosphorus and also it is rich with the pectin so due to presence of these chemicals it is going to act as hair growth promoter then it is a hair nourisher it is going to be used as hair conditioner as well as the hair colorant so this is about the amla let us see the next drug which is being used in the hair care products that is known as the brahmi maybe you are aware about the brahmi oil it is available in the market to promote the hair growth so the brahmi it consists of herb of centella asiatica belonging to family umbelliferi see the leaves it contains mainly the essential oils sterols flavonols glycosides triterpenoid and the saponin so the brahmi it is going to be used in the form of oil and extracts in the hair care formulation in the case of brahmi we are preparing the extracts of leaves as well as we are preparing the oil and which is being used in the hair care preparation furthermore the brahmi it is going to avoid the premature graying of the hair and relieve the mental fatigue and the stress these are the other uses apart from the hair care it is going to treat the hair fall then accelerates the hair growth it controls the dandruff then it prevents the split ends of the hair and it is going to act as natural conditioner in short the brahmi it is going to prevent the premature graying of hair it is going to prevent the hair fall it is going to promote the hair growth it is going to control the dandruff and it is going to act as natural conditioner so this is about the brahmi let us see the next drug that is known as the shikekai it consists of pods of plants acacia consina belongs to family mimosaceae it consists of lupiol then the spinasterol acacic acid succinic acid ascorbic acid certain alkaloids 
nicotine tartaric acid citric acid natural sugar and hexaposanol it is going to act as natural hair cleanser it is going to act as astringent and the detangle the hair it is used to make the hair formulations like soaps and shampoos for the hair wash it is going to further it is going to promote the hair growth and act as anti dandruff so shikekai it is going to be used as to clean the hair it is going to be used in the various uh, hair care preparations like uh, soaps and shampoo it is furthermore going to promote the hair growth and acts as anti dandruff agent so this is about the shikekai the next drug that is uh, known as the jatamansi so the jatamansi it consists of rhizomes of plants nardo satchis jatamansi belonging to family valerianaceae so it comprises mainly the volatile oil we are going to discuss the volatile oil containing drug later on but here in the case of jatamansi it consists of 1 to 2% of pale colored pale yellow colored volatile oil then the jatamansi acid then jatamansone then nardo stacon resins and the sugar so jatamansi oil it is uh, going to act as a hair tonic it is going to control the hair fall it is going to promote the hair growth and also it is going to be act it is going to color the hair it is going to act as hair dye it is efficient skin cleanser we are going using we are using the jatamansi rhizome powder or the jatamansi oil in the hair care preparation so this is about the jatamansi let us see the turmeric already we have discussed the turmeric in the skin care in the hair care also we are using the turmeric powder so it consists of dried and fresh rhizomes of curcuma longa belonging to family zinziberaceae it mainly comprises the volatile oils resins curcuminoids like curcumin it is going to be used as antiseptic anti inflammatory then skin conditioning and the antioxidants mainly uh, related with the hair care its antiseptic properties anti inflammatory properties and the its antioxidant property is useful it is a, it is used as coloring agent then uh, it is uh, in the case of hair care it is being used to prevent the hair loss it is going to fight against the dandruff it improves the scalp health and mainly used in the formulations like a shampoo and the hair oil so this is about the turmeric let us see the aloe already we have discussed the aloe in the skin care so aloe it is a dried juice collected by the incision from the bases of leaves of various species of aloe like aloe peri aloe vera aloe barbadensis and aloe vera of belonging to family liliaceae it mainly contains aloeins barbiloin beta barbiloin isobarbiloin resin imodin and uh, aloe imodin it is having the properties like uh, emollient then antibacterial it is going to give the soothing effects on the burns and the skin problem it is also having the antioxidant properties as well as the cleansing action so mainly it is used to clean the hair then it calms the itchy scalp it is going to clean the oily hair it is going to strengthen the hair and repair hair strands and furthermore it is going to promote the hair growth so in the case of hair care preparation the aloe it is going to be used to calm the itchy scalp it is going to clean the oily hair it is going to strengthen and repair the hair strand and furthermore it is going to promote the hair growth so this is about the aloe then the neem already we have discussed the neem under the skin care so the neem consists of almost all the parts of azarikta indica belongs to family miliaceae it consists of mainly the chemical constituents like azadiractin salinin gedunin azadirone nimbin nimbidin then nimbicidin and uh, nimbinol all these chemical constituents are having the properties like antibacterial 
antifungal, anti-dandruff, anti-acne, and also it is going to have the effect on the in the gum diseases. So it is being used in the skin care, hair care, and the oral hygiene products. So the neem oil it is present in the soap, shampoos, balms, creams, as well as the toothpaste. So it is going to be used in the in the cosmetic preparations like the skin for the skin or for the hair or the oral hygiene products. So this is about the neem. Let us see the Bringaraj. So Bringaraj oil, I think so it is available in the market in order to promote the growth of hair. So the Bringaraj, it consists of an entire herb of the Eclipta alba belonging to family Astraci. It contains the alkaloids like uh, elliptisin, amyrin, vedololactone, vedelic acid, and uh, luteoli. It is going to be used as mainly anti-inflammatory. It is going to strengthen the hair. In the case of hair care product, it is uh, having the role or uses. It is going to strengthen the hair. It is going to stimulate the growth of hair. It is going to reduce the hair loss. Then furthermore, it is going to prevent the premature graying of hair and it is going to help to eliminate the dandruff. So these are the some of the uses of Bringaraj. And that's why it is uh, being used in the various hair care products. So the Bringaraj, it is going to strengthen the hair. It is going to stimulate the hair growth. It is going to reduce the hair loss. It is going to prevent the premature graying of hair and help to eliminate the dandruff. So this is about the Bringaraj. The next drug that is related with the mango seed oil. So this is the oil which is being obtained from seeds of the Mangifera indica belonging to family Anacardiaceae. So oil, it is semi-solid at room temperature. It is having a melting point 32 to 42 degrees Celsius. It contains mainly the palmitic acid, seric acid, oleic acid, linoleic acid, along with the vitamin A, C, E. So it is uh, being used in the various hair care products. It is going to prevent mainly the formation of dandruff, right? So this is about the mango seed oil. Then the next drug that is known as the oats, so the oats, it is going to be obtained from Avena sativa, belongs to family Gramni. It mainly contains the proteins, minerals, lipids, fibers, indole, alkaloids, fats, polysaccharides, and flavonoids. It is going to protect and repair the skin and hair. Mainly, the oat flour, it is going to be used in the hair care preparations like uh, shampoos and the conditioner. So this is about the oats. Let us see the ginkgo. Already we have discussed the ginkgo. So the ginkgo, these are the leaves which are being obtained from ginkgo biloba, belongs to family ginkgoaceae. So the ginkgo, uh, it contains the phenolic acid, proanthocyanidin, ginkgo lice, and the bioflavone. It reduces the wrinkles and other signs of the skin aging, mainly related with the hair care products. It is going to promote the growth of hair and also it is going to prevent the hair loss. Also, it is going to act as the conditioning agent and the nourishing agent. So this is about the ginkgo in the hair care. Let us see the marshmallow. So here we are using the roots of the marshmallow. So it is being obtained from the Althea officinalis belonging to family Malvasi. So the marshmallow root extract, it is a popular ingredient in a many hair conditioners. So it is having a conditioning properties. Isn't it due to its a slippery texture? Furthermore, it uh, disentangles and softens the hair. It is a plant with a high protein and thus promoting the healthy hair growth. Then the moisturizing the 
dry hair furthermore soothe and cool the scalp it can be used as natural hair dye furthermore it is going to prevent the skin inflammation it is going to thicken the hair strand and promote the healthy hair regrowth so this is about the marshmallow so the marshmallow extract root extract it is going to be used to promote the growth of the hair and it is going to act as hair conditioner and the natural hair dye so this is about the marshmallow let us see the natal so the natal leaves it is being obtained from the urtica dioca belonging to family urticaceae so the natal it is it is going to be used to treat the hair fall problems mainly and promotes the hair regrowth it is rich with the vitamins and proteins it is a good source of the tannins and thus can act as a natural dye it is a good source of iron potassium calcium and uh, etc thus helps to prevent the dandruff and aids in a boosting hair health as it is rich with the vitamins like a acd so it is going to promote the hair growth so mainly the natal it is uh, going to promote the hair growth it is going to prevent the dandruff it is going to boost the hair health and furthermore it is going to act as the natural dye so this is about the natal in the hair cosmetics let us see the dandelion so the dandelion it is uh, being obtained from the taraxacum officinale belonging to family astraceae so it is a herb which is rich with the vitamins and minerals which aids in the nourishment of the hair it stimulates the hair growth it helps to treat the dandruff and can help to control oil production on the scalp and thus preventing the oily or greasy hair so dandelion it is going to nourish the hair it is going to help to stimulate the hair growth then also it is going to control the oil production on the scalp and thereby preventing the greased formation of the greasy hair it is going to stimulate the hair growth due to presence of the certain vitamins like a c e b complex due to presence of minerals such as iron magnesium phosphorus potassium and uh, etc it aids in a boosting of hair health it is a rich in the iron with aids in lessening and even preventing the dandruff so it is going to act as the anti dandruff agent it treats the greasy hair by getting rid of excess oil and accumulated sebum on the scalp so this is about the dandelion the next that is the flax seed so it is also known as the linseed and mainly we are using the fixed oils of the flax seed so the linseed is a dried ripe seed of the linum usitatissimum belonging to family linaceae the linseed oil it is obtained by expression of the linseeds belonging to family linaceae it is a rich with omega 3 free fatty acids manganese dietary fibers vitamin b1 then the etc etc they help to moisturize the hair then reduce the flakiness of scalp treat the dandruff and improve hair strength and add shine to hair so mainly the flax seed it is uh, going to reduce the flakiness of scalp it is going to treat the dandruff in the hair it, it is going to improve the hair strength and it is going to shine the hair it comprises various vitamins which are required for growth of the hair furthermore it contains the lignans which helps to protect and fight against the hair thinning so the hair becomes a thick or it is going to prevent the thinning of the hair so this is about the flax seed or the linseed or it's a fixed oil then the clove so the clove it is going to be used in the oral hygiene products as well as the hair care so the clove consists of dried powder of birds of 
Eugenia caryophyllus belonging to family Myrastaceae. So the claw have preservative as well as the antiseptic properties. Mainly we are getting the volatile oils from the claw. It can be great for the shampooing or applying to hair to boost the hair health and restoring its sheen and the luster. It aids in the preventing the hair loss. It is going to prevent the hair loss. It is uh, going to be a great color refresher, makes hair appear fresh and uh, rejuvenated. It is good for the conditioning of hair and providing the fragrance to the hair. So this is about the glow. Mainly it contains the eugenol. Let us see the thymine. So it is being obtained from the thymus vulgaris belonging to family Lamiaceae. So this is a herb rich with the several beneficial nutrients such as the potassium, magnesium and the selenium. This is going to promote or stimulate the hair follicles and thereby promotes the growth of hair. It maintains the scalp health as it is going to act as antifungal and the antiseptic. So it is going to prevent the infection towards the scalp. It is going to be applied as an essential oil along with the carrier oil like a coconut oil. It promotes the hair growth and the regrowth. It possesses the antiseptic and antifungal properties. So this is about the thymine. So this is the first part which we have finished. That is the various herbs which are being used to promote the hair growth, to prevent the dandruff, to, to increase the thickening of hair, to increase the health of hair, to increase the strength of hair and so on, along with the conditioning and the coloring of the hair. Let us see the various fixed oils which are being used in the hair care. There are so many fixed oils are there. I have taken only the few of them. Very first, that is the coconut oil. So the coconut oil, it is a fixed oil being obtained from the kernels of plant Cocos nucifera belongs to family palmi. It mainly consists of lauric acid, caproic acid, capralic acid, capric acid, myristic acid, palmitic acid, and the steric acid. And all these acids are having the beneficial effects on the hair. It has a good saponification value. So it is going to be used in the preparation of various shampoos along with the hair oil. The second fixed oil that is known as the almond oil. So again, the almond oil, it is a fixed oil obtained from the cold expression of the ripe seeds of the prunus delsis belongs to family rosaceae. It mainly contains 40 to 55 percent of fixed oil, 20 percent of protein, mucilage, fixed oil, composed of mainly the oleic acid and the linoleic acid. Oleic acid and linoleic acid having the good benefits or having the good effects on the hair. So the almond oil, it is uh, going to act as a nourishizer, then the softening agent, cleansing agent, and hair standing property. It is going to be used in the formulations like a hair lotion and the hair tonic. So this is about the almond oil. The next fixed oil, that is the jojoba oil. Mainly the jojoba oil, it is going to be used as a hair revitalizing agent. So it is a fixed oil obtained from the expression of seeds of the Simondicea chanensis belonging to family Simone Diasi. It mainly comprises eicosinoic acid, docosinoic acid, and the oleic acid. The next oil, fixed oil, that is known as sesame oil. So it is a fixed oil obtained from ripe seeds of sesamum indicum, belongs to family Pedaliaceae. It comprises mainly the palmitic acid, oleic acid, linoleic acid, linolenic acid, and the steric acid along with the gandolic acid as a major phytoconstituent. It is going to act as hair tonic and it avoids the premature graying of hair. So this is about the sesame oil. It mainly prevents the premature graying of the hair. Then the next oil that is the arachi oil which is being used to prepare the hair oils and the brilliant time. So it is a fixed oil 
being obtained from the seeds of arachis hypogea belonging to family leguminosae so it is a pale yellow in color almost colorless liquid that is depend on the refining of the oil nutty odor and the bland taste it comprises mainly the palmitic acid stearic acid oleic acid linoleic acid arachidic acid eicosanoic acid behenic acid and the lignocerec acid these are the major chemical constituents of fatty acids which are present in the arachis oil it is having the moisturizing properties as well as it is going to act as an antioxidant in the case of hair it is being used as a carrier oil in the preparation of hair oils as well as it is going to be used in the brillant time furthermore it is having the property to prevent the formation of dandruff so it is going to act as anti dandruff agent so this is about the arachis oil let us see the next fixed oil that is known as the castor oil so the castor oil it is a fixed oil obtained from the seeds of ricinus communis belonging to family euphorbiaceae so it is a colorless to slight yellow in color it is a viscous liquid with a slight odor and slightly acrid taste mainly it comprises the glycerols of ricinoleic acid isoricinoleic acid stearic acid and dihydroxy stearic acid it is going to be used uh, to prevent the hair fall then the premature graying of hair then it is going to be helpful in the irritated scalp problems and furthermore it is going to promote the hair growth so this is about the castor oil in the hair care let us see the volatile oils which are being used in the hair care very first volatile oil that is known as the eucalyptus oil so the eucalyptus oil it consists of the oil which is being obtained from the leaves of the eucalyptus globulus belongs to family myrestaceae it contains mainly the volatile components like a cineol terpenes aldehydes alcohols and the phenols and it is going to act as anti dandruff and it is present in the various cosmetic preparations for the hair mainly the shampoo then the tulsi oil so the this is the essential or you can say it as volatile oil which is being obtained by leaves and flowering stalks of the osimum santum belonging to family labiatae it contains the volatile components like vanadic cineol linalool citral eugenol and methyl cinnamate it is going to be used in the various hair care preparations for to promote the hair growth and to treat the itching and the hair loss so this is about the tulsi oil the next volatile oil that is the lemon oil so the lemon oil it is going to be obtained from cold expression of peels of citrus limonum belongs to family rutaceae it comprises the volatile components like uh, alpha pinin campine beta pinin sabinin myrcin linalool limonin nerol and nerol and it is going to be used as hair cleansing agent the next oil that is known as the sandalwood oil it is mainly used as a perfumery in the hair care preparations so it is the essential oil being obtained from steam distillation of hardwood of santalum album belongs to family santalaceae it comprises 92 to 97% of the sesquiterpene alcohol known as santalol hydrocarbons aldehydes and the ketones and it is going to be used as perfume in the various hair care preparations then the rosemary oil so the rosemary oil it is a distilled from the flowering tops of leafy twigs of the rosemarinus officinalis belonging to family lamiaceae it contains the volatile components like vanadic cineol borneol camphor boronyl acetate and monoterpene hydrocarbon it is going to help to prevent the graying of the hair then it helps to soothe the scalp it is going to treat the dandruff so it is going to act as a anti dandruff agent it is going to prevent the hair loss it is uh, going to prevent the thinning of hair the and the balding and it is furthermore it is going to promote the hair growth so this is about the rosemary volatile oil 
Then the peppermint oil. So this is again volatile oil which is being obtained by distillation of mentha preparata belonging to family Labiati. So it contains mainly the chemical constituents like a menthol along with the other chemical constituents like a methyl acetate, isovalinate, methionine, cineol, and inactive pine and the limonene. So it is going to soothe and calm down and irritate its scalp. That is the main role of the peppermint oil. It is going to stimulate the hair follicle and thereby it promotes the hair growth. It is going to treat the fungal infection. So it is having antifungal property. It is going to prevent the formation of dandruff. It is going to combat the itchiness of scalp along with the inflammation. So it is mainly used in the shampoos and the conditioner. That is the peppermint oil. The next volatile oil, which is being used in the hair care preparations, that is the lavender oil and the rose oil. So the lavender oil, it is going to be obtained from the lavendula angustifolia belonging to family labiati, which is having the powerful anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial and antiseptic property. So it is going to prevent the fungal infection and the bacterial infections in the hair. It stimulates the circulation in the scalp and strengthens the new hair growth. It helps in soothing as well as healing irritations and infections on the scalp and is a very effective in treating dandruff, then dry and flaky scalp. So it is going to act as anti-dandruff agent. Furthermore, it is going to be used to treat the hair loss as it is an effective remedy for many scalp conditions. So this is about the lavender oil in the hair care. Then the next oil that is known as the rose oil or the rose water, you can say, it can be used to revitalize the hair and promote hair growth. That is the main role of the rose preparations. They can also be used to condition the hair and giving it a healthy shine. It is having the antiseptic properties. So it is going to prevent the scalp irritation. So this is about the rose oil. Let us see the natural colorants which are being used in the hair care. So very first one, the henna. Already we have discussed the details of henna in the skin care. So the henna comes from the plant Lausonia inner mist belonging to family Lythraceae. So the leaves contains the active chemical constituent that is known as Lauson. So it is a Whatever that lauson is there, it is responsible for the orange color to the hair. So it is used as a non-oxidizing non hair dye. The tannins and flavonoids which are present in the henna, which is going to act as a mordant. The carbohydrates which are present in the henna, they are going to bind it on the hair. And furthermore, it is going to balance the pH of hair and hence avoid the graying of the hair and the hair fall. So this is about the henna as a coloring agent. The second natural coloring agent that is known as a matter. So here we are using the root powder for the hair care preparation. So the roots of, it is obtained from the roots of the rubia tinctorium belonging to family rubiaceae, and it is going to give you the red color. The coloring property, it is due to the anthraquinone like uh, alizarin and purpurine. Furthermore, apart from these uh, properties, it is also having anti-cancer, antimicrobial, antifungal, hypotensive, and the analgesic activity. So this is about the matter. Then the chamomile, this is the next natural color which is being used in the hair care preparation. So it is being obtained from the leaves and flowers of the Matricaria recutita belongs to family Astraci and it is going to give the yellow color to the hair. It contains mainly the terpenes, that is volatile oils, terpenes, flavonoids, sesquiterpenes, vitamin C and vitamin E. It is a strong antiseptic and anti-inflammatory. So it is going to prevent the formation of dandruff. So it is going to act as anti-dandruff. It is going to prevent the hair fall. It is going to promote the hair growth and also it is going to strengthen the damaged hair. So these are the, some of the other uses of the chamomile. Mainly we are using to get the yellow shades 
to the hair by with the help of chamomile product then the walnut it is a fruit which is being obtained from the jaglans regia belonging to family jaglandaceae so the leaves and hulls of walnut fruit it is used for hair dyeing mainly it produces the brown color brown shades to the hair it contains the chemical constituents like uh, juglone then oleic acid linoleic acid cysteine and the tryptophan it is going to be used to use in the semi permanent hair formulation it is going to be used to treat the eczema hair loss then the scalp itching peeling dandruff and the, in the skin care for the sunburn so this is about the walnut the next coloring agent which is being used in the hair products that is a senna it is going to give the black color to the hair so it consists of dried leaves of cassia angustifolia belonging to family leguminosae it consists of mainly senoside a b c d rain aloe modin camphorol and the mucilage it is applied topically to get smooth and shiny hairs also the strength of hair it is going to be increased when we are using the senna it improves the scalp condition treats the dandruff it is a excellent conditioning herb and combating the hair loss so this is about the senna the next type of coloring agent which is used in the hair dyes that is indigo so indigo gives the blue color shades to the hair so it is obtained from leaves of the indigo fera tinctoria belongs to family leguminosae so indigo dye it is a derivative of indican a glucose and this is converted to blue indigo gotin by enzymatic process as i have said that it is going to give the blue color the dye is obtained from fermented leaves of the plant and it is going to enhance the hair quality fights the dandruff prevent the graying of hair promotes the hair growth and makes the hair stronger so this is about the indigo so here with we have finished the herbs which are being used to prepare the hair care preparation we have discussed the hair tonics in the hair care we have discussed the volatile oils in the hair care products we have discussed the fixed oils in the hair care products and the colorants in the hair care products so in the case of hair tonic we have discussed the few of the herbs like amla brahmi bringraj neem jantamasi fenugreek chikekai ginkgo arnica and senna we have not discussed the fenugreek and the arnica then volatile oils and fixed oil in the hair oil like uh, coconut oil eucalyptus rose oil basil oil or tulsi oil lemon oil rosemary oil cedar wood oil sandalwood oil sage oil jojoba oil almond oil arachis oil sesame oil olive oil neem oil and castor oil we have not discussed the olive oil then the sage oil and the cedar wood oil from the category of volatile oils and the fixed oil and the colorants in the hair care that is henna madder chamomile walnut bringraj and the onion skin we have not discussed the onion skin which is going to give the yellow color to the hair so this is about the herbs for the preparation of hair cosmetics these are the few references which i have referred to create the slide thank you very much